I'm Shannette Thompson. I am a lawyer and also a partner at Kingsley Napoli. We're a top 200 firm. My work is very varied. I've got a varied client base. So sometimes I will be advising healthcare regulators, so large regulators that have over 80,000 registrants. I knew I wanted to be a lawyer at a very young age. I I think I was probably about seven. Um, I was growing up in Hackney, didn't know any lawyers. My parents hadn't been to university at the time. Um, and I literally started watching reruns of LA Law and Blair Underwood's character in there, I absolutely fell in love with. With all due respect, Mr. Brackman, this is not a negotiation. <clears throat> Gentlemen, it's been a genuine honor and a pleasure. Thank you very much didn't really know what a lawyer did so I started researching it and really thought actually I quite like this obviously it's not as glamorous as you see on LA Law and Suits and all the other programs that have been made about law firms but I never looked back and there wasn't a plan B I knew that I had to be a lawyer. In the 80s and 90s and early 2000s when I was growing up in Hackney it, it, it was not the borough that it looks like now there were stabbings there were shootings um, it was quite dangerous but I had a really good group of friends that um, we moved together and we all had kind of similar values so we weren't getting ourselves into trouble but unfortunately living where we lived we couldn't avoid it. So coming out of that to now be where I am, um, I don't think people always truly understand how much of a jump that is for me and sometimes I still look back and think about what could have happened had I not had the ambition, the drive and actually the support from my family to bring myself out of that situation. So there's, you know, there's been a lot of trials along the way but I wouldn't have changed it for anything. So this is me aged 11. This photo is my first secondary school photo, Cardinal Pole in Hackney. And it's kind of the pivotal moment when I started my journey towards becoming a lawyer because this is when I really put the effort in. I was always good at primary school, but this is the time when I started thinking these grades count. My first work experience when I was 15, just turning 16, and that was in a local um, criminal legal aid firm in Hackney. From there, I then applied for university. I went to City University. I had three years um, undergraduate law degree there. From there, I then went on to the College of Law and did a year legal practice course. And then I had quite a tricky time where I was looking for training contracts for a considerable amount of time. My sister said to me, you're going to have to stretch yourself in order to get what you want. I bet you when you make a move that is out of your comfort zone, it's going to bring you what you want. And I saw a role in the civil service and it was for a legal advisor at the United Bristol Healthcare Trust. I went and interviewed and I got the job. The person who I credit to kind of really started me on my career, been there about six weeks, he called me into his office and he said, you know, I really like your work, would you like a training contract? And I sat there thinking, I've been looking for this training contract for the last three years. I've had rejections that have made me feel like I was about to give up and you're offering me one and I haven't applied. And he said, yeah, well, I don't put applications out, otherwise I'll be inundated, I want to get to know people. And that's where it started and then, yeah, I've never looked back since. I knew I wanted to be a partner when I probably got to kind of two to three years into my career. So I pretty much started from that point looking at the competencies of what they expected of a partner, trying to build up my client management skills, also build up my business development skills because a lot of what you do as a partner is bringing in business. You've got to attract new clients to the business. You can be the best lawyer that there is technically, but if you can't also bring in new business, then you're not actually generating for the firm and making sure that the firm is future-proofed. This six months journey as a partner has been absolutely phenomenal. Has it been hard work? Absolutely. Does it make me feel like I'm in a position that is slight of privilege? Absolutely, because I know there are a number of women of colour like me who really want this opportunity and have never been given it and feel like that they've, their career has been held back. So for me, it's been absolutely monumental. My family couldn't be more proud of me and that is really what I work for. 
the one thing that I've found that has been really important throughout all of my time, you know, in school and then into the world of work is having champions. Champions and mentors are people that will speak highly of you when you are outside of the room. So finding that person, whether it's at school or in any establishment that you are in to get proper solid advice from, listening to people that don't know any better than you is not going to get you where you need to be. You need to be speaking to people who can give you solid advice about navigating your way out of the situation that you are in, getting you to the place that you want to be. And I've had a number of those people throughout my life. I latched onto them. They probably didn't even want me, but I latched onto them and I sucked information out of them that I could use for my career. And it's those types of connections that you need to make early on, regardless of what you want to do. You may not want to be a lawyer like me, and that's absolutely fine, but whatever you want to do, you have to do the research, put in the hard work, make the connections and navigate yourself to a situation of betterment.